Hey, welcome to Quick Tips. And then this one I'm going to show you a really quick way to cut um, a hole into any surface into the geometry. Really, really quick way. Uh, the older way you used to have to, well, the way I used to do, the way a lot of people used to do it, you would um, create a, like a spline shape and an orthographic view. And if you, you know, you want your circle to be at least eight edges for a perfect circle, eight or more. Um, you know, so you would create a circle spline shape and uh, bring the interpolation down until it was eight sides and you turn on snaps and snap to verts and you cut into the surface your mesh and uh, it was just a messy kind of way of doing it. Well, it did the trick but it was, it was a bit kind of slow and inefficient so it's really, really fast to do it now. I'll show you just how fast. So we we'll start with a plane, hold control to snap to a square, G to get rid of the grid, right click, convert to an edible poly, and we'll just select this center vert, right click, and uh, use the chamfer tool. So, as I said, for a perfect circle, you want, you know, ideally eight sides. So we have four here, obviously. So I'm going to use this tool over here. It's called the Paint Connect tool. If you hover over, you'll see tool tips. You can have a read of them yourself, but it's perfect for this. So if you hold Shift, drag over an edge, it'll create a vert in the center of the edge, and then switch to from Shift to Control, really and drag across this vert, and it'll snap to that vert. So Shift, drag, Control. And it'll automatically connect shift drag control shift drag control now here's the trick to this is um we'll just select this face and you'll see now it's eight sides we just click this geo poly and there we go this will be a perfect circle when we uh, subdivide it so uh i'll just right click inset that I can just extrude it down once, twice, three times, and then inset it again. And now, when we add a turbo smooth, you'll see that we have a, a perfect circle. So that's basically it, and you can see it's nice and clean. So I'll just delete that and show you the same technique on a, a sphere. Same again. We'll right click, convert to edible poly. And I'm just going to select three verts here. Right click, chamfer tool. Oops. And we'll do the same again here with our paint connect tool. Here's here. I'll just do this really quick. So remember shift drag and then switch to control. The hotkeys are all written in the tooltips. If you just hover over the icon in the graphite tool set. If you have quick tips enabled of course. So you can see how quickly this can be done. So I'll right click, select these hit the geo poly button inset and I'll just use the extrude dialog box here so I'll just come down slightly and I'll just do exactly the same as we did so one more time inset And you can see here um, when you're uh, any sort of sub D modeling for a hard edge or you know for your control edges, I always use a rule of threes. So you have three edges here, one, two, three, just to tighten it up. So it's a good rule of thumb. So you can see there that you're you're always going to get if you can just see this. On a curved surface, it's notoriously difficult to cut uh, rounded shapes. 
mean to curve surfaces, but um, you know that's done a pretty nice job there. So this will work on obviously any geometry. So remember the trick is um just to use this the geo poly. I'm just going to here it is here this geo poly button, and uh, that's it for for this quick tip. All right, cheers. Thanks. Good luck.